18 to 20 year old travel trainees without a CDL. Come on now. Welcome to Pair Rider TV. Got this article from Landline Media. And I guess this is a step in the wrong direction, maybe. The right direction, maybe. I don't know. But we're going to cover it and see what is going on here. Trucking company wants to use learner's permit holders for apprentice program. The Pennsylvania Trucking Company wants the FMCSA to let it use under 21 commercial learner's permit holders for the agency's apprentice pilot program. Pitt, Ohio, which is based in Pittsburgh, they are a LTL company, if you didn't know that. LTL stands for less than truckload. As the agency for an exemption from the requirement that participants must hold a CDL before enrolling in the program. A notice of the request was published in the Federal Registry on Thursday, February 23rd. The company contends that it would have less difficulty recruiting drivers to participate in FMCSA Safe Driver Apprentice Pilot Program if the exemption is granted. Pitt, Ohio estimates that 25 learner's permit holders would operate under the exemption each year. As part of their request, the company said that commercial learner's permit holders would still need to meet all of their remaining apprentice requirements, as well as the existing regulatory requirements for permit holders. That would include needing the presence of a CDL holder in the passenger seat. Yes, in the passenger seat, not in the sleeper. Uh, I think Pitt, Ohio basically, basically runs day cabs, so we don't have to worry about that, I don't think. FMCSA announced the creation of its apprenticeship pilot program in January of 2022, as is required through the Infrastructure and Investment Jobs Acts. The agency opened the application process in July. Opposition to under 21 interstate drivers. And this is from Owner Operator Independent Drivers Association. OIDA or OIDA. And I agree. I agree with OIDA on this. OIDA has opposed any measures to reduce the minimum interstate commercial driving age 2118, saying it will have a negative effect on safety. I agree with that statement. In addition, the motivation for lowering the driving creation age is the assertion that there is a shortage of truck drivers and OIDA argues that there is no shortage. There is no shortage. I agree with that also. Instead, OIDA and Pale Rider TV, including myself, says the problem is a retention issue at large carriers because of low wages, yes, and poor Working conditions, yes. All right, now you can leave your comment for FMCSA on this uh, situation, on this issue. The public will have 30 days to comment on Pitt, Ohio's exemption request. To do so, go to the regulations.gov website and enter docket number FMCSA. 2023-0057. Let me repeat that. I'll give you a few seconds to get a pen and paper. If you're driving, pull over or play this back when you stop so you can write this down. Go to regulations.gov website and enter docket number FMCSA 
dash zero zero five seven. And you too can leave your comment for the FMCSA if you're against it, for it, or whatever. So I think that's it here. Let me know in the comment section what y'all think. So I appreciate everybody watching. Everybody have a good day and stay safe.